Speaking of location, it is not worth risking your life by having your procedure performed in an understaffed or unaccredited facility. In the course of evaluating your surgeon and anesthetic provider, don't overlook location. Each healthcare facility has very strict criteria for the administration of anesthesia and sedation, with privileges usually established under the rules of the Department of Anesthesiology. Hospitals have to follow stringent requirements for their continued participation in Medicare and other federally funded health care. Nonetheless, hospitals can be subject to discipline and probation by accrediting and certifying agencies. Be sure to determine the current status of the hospital before receiving care. In some outpatient surgical settings or in some office-based surgical settings, these rules are followed less stringently. If you are having your surgical procedure performed in an outpatient setting, be certain the facility you are considering is certified by a legitimate accrediting body and posts the appropriate state license. Some of the most widely recognized accrediting bodies in addition to a state license are the Joint Commission on Accreditation of Healthcare Organizations or JCAHO, Medicare, the Accreditation Association of Ambulatory Healthcare or AAAHC, and the American Association for Accreditation of Ambulatory Surgery Facilities, or AAASF. Facilities accredited by any of the agencies have to follow strict criteria for your safety. How should you choose an anesthesiologist? Perhaps you have noticed that we have used the term anesthesiologist throughout this program. Earlier we discussed his or her role and educational background. We have not mentioned other anesthesia providers, including nurse anesthetists, anesthesia assistants, or physician's assistants with special training in anesthesiology. There's a good reason for this omission. None of these other anesthesia providers are physicians. An anesthesiologist is a physician who has completed post-medical school training in the medical specialty of anesthesiology. No one, apart from an anesthesiologist, is fully trained in the medical specialty of anesthesiology. Anesthesiology is a medical specialty. To the extent that a nurse anesthetist works in conjunction with an anesthesiologist, there is the ability to expand the services to the patient. It's my opinion that apart from the provision of emergency care or the absolute unavailability of a physician, there is no place for an unsupervised nurse anesthetist providing anesthesia. I am not disputing the fact that other non-physician anesthesia providers have attended scores of successful procedures. However, their experience and knowledge base simply does not prepare them to handle complications as well as a physician anesthesiologist. Furthermore, the presence of a surgeon does not guarantee a detailed knowledge of the requirements necessary to address anesthetic complications. Only an anesthesiologist has the specialty training earning him or her that exclusive title. Once you determine if the anesthetic provider is indeed an anesthesiologist, how do you differentiate one anesthesiologist from another? A degree from a prestigious institution is not necessarily a guarantee of quality care. A physician who barely passed courses at his famous alma mater is unlikely to be as good at providing care than one whom excelled attending a less recognizable institution. Similarly, membership in specific societies offers no guarantee of the quality of care. Membership in each of the medical societies is voluntary, not mandatory. Membership in a society identifies the desire to be a member and the ability to pay the dues. It is not a testimony to a physician's ability. The only true way to differentiate among anesthesiologists is to ask if he or she has a certification from the American Board of Anesthesiology. In fact, the pass rates for this board's written and oral exams are routinely lower than those of other specialty boards. The physician who passes both written and oral boards on their first try has shown a great depth of academic knowledge. If he or she has also been a member of Alpha Omega Alpha, a medical school's honor society, you can be sure that the credentials are sound. Now that you have an understanding of anesthesia and can differentiate among providers, we need to further draw a distinction between the way you choose your surgeon or physician and how you choose an anesthesiologist. Among other criteria, patients usually choose their surgeon based upon skill, reputation, compassion, and certification. As we mentioned before, once you've committed to surgery, the necessity for anesthesia is presumed. Choosing an anesthesiologist is altogether different. 
Plainly put, you do not have voting rights, but you do have veto power. What does this mean? Most hospitals have contracts and privileging issues with prescribed anesthesia groups. A surgeon utilizing an operating room in a given hospital generally has little say over who the anesthesiologist will be for a given case. Typically, the anesthesiologist is assigned. In other settings, the surgeon might have a relationship with an individual anesthesiologist or group. If a surgeon has a good working relationship with an anesthesiologist and they share a good track record, the value of that team may exceed the value of your personal preference. The best needs of the patient are met when the anesthesiologist is knowledgeable about a particular surgeon's techniques, skills, and desires to provide optimal surgical outcome. So if your surgeon has a preference, you may want to heed his recommendation. I hope we have taken some of the mystery out of the subject of anesthesia. Knowing how things work, alternatives available, who to trust, and defining roles all help toward managing expectations during a stressful time. Keep one thing in mind, you may be considering major surgery or a minor procedure, but if any form of anesthesia is involved, never take it lightly. It could be life-altering. Learning all you can about any medical procedure will help you feel more like a participant and less like a victim when it comes to your health. We are dedicated to empowering you through knowledge and appreciate your interest. We hope that this educational video will be of help to you. Naked Truth Product Company, NTPC, Carl R. Novak, MD, GFMB Product Development, LLC, and GFMB Holdings, LLC, collectively producer, have provided this video and affiliated website and the information on it, collectively, the service, for educational purposes only. This information is intended for prospective patients. Nothing contained in the service is intended to be, nor shall it be considered to be, instructions for diagnosis or treatment. Although producer makes a conscientious effort to provide accurate and current information on the techniques, risks, and benefits of modern anesthesia techniques and procedures, producer disclaims any implied guarantee about the accuracy, completeness, timeliness, or relevance of any information in the service concerning techniques or risks to patients. Risks other than those discussed or demonstrated in the service may affect any particular patient. You should see a qualified anesthesiology specialist if you have any questions related to the procedures presented in this video or website, or before embarking on a course of treatment. You should never disregard or delay in seeking anesthesia advice from your anesthesia provider because of something you have read, heard, or seen on the service. Producer and its distribution partners do not, through this service, directly or indirectly practice anesthesia or dispense anesthesia advice or anesthesia services. All photographs contained in the service are for demonstrative purposes only. Your own result from similar procedures may vary. Patients react to medications differently based on many variables. These variables include the patient and their individual anatomy, different anesthesia techniques, the differences among and between anesthesia providers, and variable post-operative recovery periods. Products mentioned in the service are used by Dr. Novak in the course of his practice after consultation with each patient. The mention of any particular product is not intended to be a recommendation of the product for any particular patient, and you should discuss the use of particular products with an anesthesiologist or other qualified anesthesia provider before deciding whether a particular product is right for you. The information contained in this video and website reflects the views, opinions, and experiences of Dr. Novak and does not necessarily represent the views of American Society of Anesthesiology or any other professional organization or society. The text, photographs, images, and graphics contained in this video and website are protected by copyright and other laws of the United States of America and may not be reproduced or distributed for any purpose without the express written consent of producer. Patients seen in this program have consented to the release of their images or information for the sole purpose of this video. Use of their image or information for any other purpose is not authorized. Persons or organizations that violate producers' rights or patients' privacy in the materials will be prosecuted to the full extent of the law.